Hello, my fellow hunters. Would you like the gift of immortality? Because I can grant you it, and I do legitimately mean it. I've been having a test with the defensive skills, having a play around, and you can do some quite frankly disgusting things. Because in world skill system, you can pile like up to 10 separate skills on your armor if you try hard enough, which means that there is room, unlike in previous games where you only had about four skills in a good set, to actually put in a bit of utility, a bit of defensiveness that makes hunts a lot more comfortable. Yes, you don't have to go maximum DPS. I jest, of course. I love big numbers. I mean, I main great overcompensation, but there is a whole other world <laughs> out there and a, a lot of fun to be had and genuine merit in weaving defensive and utility skills into your build. But if I'm going to do something, I'm going to go all out. So initially, my goal here was to create a set that lets me go completely AFK and still not die against increasingly harder-hitting monsters. So we're starting with Normal Joe. Sadly, not tempered. <laughs> Rest in peace, we hardly knew you. And he is Why trying you to die? kill me. And this does lead to a really good, actually, DPS-heavy version of this set that still essentially means you spend the entire hunt not healing and just killing the monster because you are that tanky. But for now, we'll go with my extreme AFK version. Defense Boost 7. Yeah, I bet you never thought you'd see that. Yeah, your eyes aren't playing tricks. You should have seen the blacksmith's face when I asked him to make a defense charm. He had to go check what the bloody thing was. On top of that, then, we have ourselves the Divine Blessing, which is lovely. It happens constantly. Yes, it's unreliable because it's RNG, but it does proc so often that it can be a clutch save against a supernova, but over the course of the hunt, the damage it saves you is wonderful. You have to heal so much less with that on. And armor-wise, by the way, as soon as you get above 400 armor, you do start to hit heavy diminishing returns, but even then, it's still very appreciably noticeable. This set, fully augmented, if everything was, can reach about 550 armor with food and adamant seed, which is hilarious. Now, it's not fully augmented, which is why I have my Palico on Vigor Wasp to kind of represent the damage I wouldn't have taken if it was, if that makes sense. But either way, it's very effective. Then, of course, we have your Recovery Valhazak-associated skills. And by the way, now that Joe's been like... Well, well, fine. If you're not gonna die, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave and 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 go play with Jagras, which I think is fantastic. He gets bored and leaves rather than kill me. Let's test this against. I don't know, Nergigante. Honestly, this set is so good. You can just go and make a cup of tea in the middle of a fight. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> yep, yep. I am, I am serious here. So, other than that, then, we're using Super Recovery from 3-Set Valhazak. It gives us a lot of decoration slots to work with. And by the way, this does need a lot of decorations. But they are very common, level 1, low-rarity decorations. So you probably have most of these just lying around if you've not been melding them like crazy. It's what initially prompted me to think, could I actually do anything with all of this crap? And it turns out, it's not crap. So Valhazak Recovery is nice. I mean, with level 3 at recovery speed, your red health does surge upwards, which is great, and recovery up, the 30% more healing while affecting potions and health augments, which we'll talk about later. Okay, you, you get the point. I'll go back to normal footage now. <laughs> I had such an unreasonable amount of fun recording myself making a cup of tea. It does affect the little ticks of health you get from super recovery. I mean, it's still not huge, but it is nice. And then evade extender, because I kind of like it. But yeah, it's just a really fun I don't die experience, and I was all about that. Sadly, of course, tempered monsters do hit too hard for something this cheesy. But you got to remember, we're not dodging. We're not actively fighting. So when we add that in, you can see how ridiculous this can get. And, well, while wearing this, I kind of just feel like this. And, by the way, ending of Super at 131, 
pretty damn. <laughs> it was so cool. All right, yeah, let, let's 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 uh, let's get back on point here. So this is the damage orientation of the set. It's not a huge change. The biggest one is in how the decorations are spread about, but we do swap out the Kashala legs because a Veil Extender it is fun. It is nice, but it just throws me off with my great sword positioning. So we get no Gigante Greaves, and this lets me get that maximum might for 10% more crit. We put a crit boost in there as well because we've managed to squeeze in three weakness exploit from the charm and from another decoration. The peak performance is nice, bit of attack, bit of crit because I just had spare slots. But the thing is, this has enough slots that you really can tailor to the monster. Facing Devil Joe, put free defense lock in there. Facing Teostra, put free fire defense in there. You know, just really you can tailor it to what you're about to go up against. But either way, we get all of this extra damaging stuff, which still lets us do an appreciably fast kill time. I mean, I did a sub five minute Ner Gigante, about a nine minute Teostra, both tempered with this. It's not too shabby. And the thing is, it can be that quick because this gives you the confidence to just keep attacking because you don't need to worry about backing off all the time and healing and you don't have to worry about carting. And it gives you so much security that gives you almost the confidence to play better and yes that doesn't apply to everyone and yes you can say well I never get hit so most of these skills are wasted and you could say that and I wouldn't necessarily believe you even the very best players you will take a hit every now and then there's always a moment with oh fuck as you take something that really you shouldn't be as you're locked into an animation as that supernova stats and you're like no it happens to us all and if you think about something like this it mitigates against it the extra health means you might survive the divine blessing means it might proc and you might survive you take a hit go to half health the recovery speed suddenly powers you back up to 70 percent which means if you take a follow-up hit in your panic you don't die you only get put to 10% health, it buys you more time, and yes, the better you play, the less you take hits, the less you find yourself having to heal and just try your best to survive, the less useful this becomes. But what will always remain useful, and what I would chiefly recommend that you do on basically anything, is the augment on the weapon. So the Jagras Hacker here, I have put a health regen on it, and this means that 10% of the damage that you deal and think about how hard a greatsword hits, will be converted to health. This thing is glorious, because unless you are, like, on the tiniest amount, and it's really risky to run at the monster to try and heal, it basically lets you just ignore any given small to even medium amounts of damage, as long as you're confident in your ability to not immediately take a huge follow-up hit, and just keep powering through. You will heal yourself up constantly, especially coupled with the other skills, but even if you don't have them, this is so much more damage than putting, well, a damage augment on there. Because even if it saves you running out and using a potion, let's say, three times during a hunt, and I don't think assuming that someone would have a potion three times is crazy, but not having to do that because of the health regen, that's what, like 30 seconds more uptime on the monster, which is so much more damage than the couple percent you'd get from a final attack increase, etc. And yeah, obviously this assumes per permanent uptime on the monster, which isn't always the case. Sometimes you don't have anything better to do than heal yourself if he's changing zones or if he's committing to attack on someone else and you'd have to run to chase him anyway. But the theory is solid and the health regen makes everything so much smoother and nicer and gives you such a nice bit of safety net as you constantly heal up from everything that you do. It saves so many potions and it saves so many lives and that really is that really is the important lesson. But yeah, I use this set and I can efficiently kill Tempered Elder Dragons without drinking a potion the entire time. And I think that really does say it all. So yeah, I would think about using this, guys. I would recommend using the health boost. That 50 extra health is so nice. It's worth so much more than three attack. Just the knowledge that you can't get one shot. Divine Blessing is the other one that is highly recommended. It's so nice to just get tickled constantly 
completely because it procs and makes the damage nothing. You don't need to go full Valhazak, not at all. But in any given damage set, if you can put a health augment on, or if you can fit in health boost or divine blessing, you will notice such an extra increase in your comfortableness with how safe you are at any given time that you'll be a bit more aggressive, you'll get in more hits, and overall, your damage and success rate will likely grow up. As long as you're not already a super pro amazing, you know, the best player I've ever seen. And in which case, you, you keep on going, you. But yeah, for now, that will do. I hope you've enjoyed this. I, I love a build that I can just go AFK and not die. Like, that's a lot of fun, right? But for now, let me know if you like a little bit more, uh, let's say, niche builds. And subscribe for more. I'll see you soon. A oh, good boy. Lovely. Rage gaming with the video flow. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit. <laughs>